Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So uh, today we have another tutorial for all of your Macs. This one is on uh, how to reset your PRM on your a Mac or uh, NV ramp. So PRAM is stand for parameter RAM and it holds uh, assorted information about your Mac so that it functions to your specification. And then the NVRAM stands for Non-Volatile Random Access Memory and it serves the same purpose as uh, PRAM in that it stores information on a memory chip pertaining to uh, various uh, features. In no particular order, here are some of the uh, things stored in PRAM or uh, MVRAM. Startup disk, disk caches, RAM, uh, RAM disk, Virtual memory, commonly uh, called swap, 32-bit addressing, video and uh, display information including monitor depth, refresh uh, rate, screen resolution and number of colors, volume for both system startup and speaker, time zone information, mouse and uh, trackpad, scaling and speed information commonly called mouse uh, acceleration, keyboard repeat rate, kernel panic information, DVD region setting, Default system fonts. So uh, when you reset the PRAM and MVRAM, this information get clear out on the Mac because of the information stored in PRAM. If the if you reset the PRAM, you will often have to adjust things like uh, your mouse uh, tracking speed, time zone. If it's not set to an online server or any non native uh, resolution that any attached uh, display is running. NVRAM and then uh, PRAM are basically the same thing and serve the same purpose. Many users continue to refer to VRAM as a PRAM and vice versa. Since their function is the same and uh, resetting their memory is the same, it doesn't really matter much. So why and when do you want to reset PRAM and MVRAM? You generally only reset PRAM when troubleshooting something that is directly related to the above uh, list content of the parameter RAM. Also, I have a uh, resolving problem or adjusting hardware changes. Uh, there isn't much other use for doing so. This can include troubleshooting uh, everything from uh, unusual issues encountered on system boot to peculiar behavior and uh, performance to improper screen resolution, among other things. So let's go ahead and then, uh, teach you guys on how to uh, do this. So here are the combination key that you know 
need to learn how to press. Uh, first of all, we need to shut down the Mac, either any of your Mac, your iMac, your MacBook Pro, your MacBook Air, MacBook Mini. your IMAX or whatever you have. So you want to go ahead and uh, press the uh, command key, your option, your P, and then your R key, okay? <clears throat> You're going to keep on press it until you hear the second beep, and then you will let go the buttons. You must uh, hit the key combination before the gray screen appears. Otherwise, uh, it won't work. You may need to try it once or twice until you get the timing right doing a restart. But once it works, you can uh, let Mac system start as usual. So I'm going to hit that uh, P like this, power on, and then the go. Just keep on holding it down until I hear a second beep. Or second chime. So this is the second chime. So I'm just going to let go. And uh, just a little bit uh, usual. <clears throat> so uh, in case uh, this does not work for you, I have uh, another uh, video coming up that will show you guys on how to uh, download uh, software to run it and how to clean it up <clears throat> so yeah please uh, be sure to like this video and then uh, give a thumbs up please uh, hit that subscribe button and then uh, turn on that bell for notification and drop any other comments on below see if that were if this will fix your problem or not Thank you for watching and happy Monday. I will see you guys on the next video guys. Like always, peace out.